Hey, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? My name is Corbett and I'll be your host today for Europa Universalis 4. Welcome back to episode 35 of the Glorious Revolution as Germany. I hope you can forgive me for those last two episodes being a little bit sudden in their ending slash beginning respectively, but we have a bit of a situation to deal with today. See, uh... We've caused a bit of a bit of problem, a bit of a problem here in Europe with our aggressive expansion. And Spain has spearheaded the anti, you know, revolution league here, kind of, where they are the defender of the Catholic faith. Uh, despite actually robbing them of that one time, they came back, so they just they have it twice now, which is cool. Um, but yeah, the biggest question is are we going to invade the Commonwealth? And the answer to that is actually yes, because uh, we don't have much of a choice. Out of everyone we can invade, uh, none of them are actually valid options, except for, like, this one, I guess. But if we wait too long, then the Commonwealth and Spain join a coalition, and no one, no one really wants to deal with that. So, rather, I'd, I'd rather deal with the Commonwealth and Spain while weakening the Commonwealth than to have them join a coalition of multiple other nations and, you know, uh, possibly destroy me. I don't know if they would, uh, but we're not going to take that chance very lightly. So, we're going to invade the Commonwealth, starting right now. I imagine he has garrisons on everything. Of course he does. Why wouldn't he? Fortunately, he does not know how to build forts because, um, well, he has no money, and I don't think he's had money for the entire game. So the plan there is pretty much stomp them as hard as possible, all at once. And once the Commonwealth's taken care of, we turn our attention towards uh, the rest of Europe here. Now, these cores are going to be in trouble a lot, because Spain's going to come and occupy them, obviously. So that's not so cool. Um, but yeah, I'd rather take care of the Commonwealth so that I have my secret key out of this whole war whenever I need to. In case I, you know, can't win against Spain, I can simply pull out of the war by piecing with the Commonwealth. And hopefully that is valid enough for us to just make it work. Uh, I will start by actually blockading their ports here to give me a bit of vision as well as uh, fort chance. The coalition's gonna keep building because I am at war with some of the strongest, well, actually the strongest remaining powers in Europe. Don't know if you want to count the Ottomans on that one, uh, but still, some of the strongest powers. So yeah, this one's going to be a lot of fun. Norway's in a coalition. It's, it's going to be a pretty wild ride moving forward. Pretty uh, massive one here. Commonwealth flagship is gone. Great. I imagine you have uh, galleys, right? You do have galleys, okay. Uh, but we're going to end up winning. We lost ourselves... Uh, three heavies, but we did win the fight, so that's valid. Works for me. I'm gonna send you up into here. I actually do want to give you a leader, and I think I can manage that this time. Unless I want to make my Republic guy a leader, but I don't really want to, so... Yeah, we're gonna make sure that we stomp all over the Commonwealth first. It looks like they're moving up into here, which is bad, because I actually didn't prepare uh, very good forts around here. That's still like a level 4, isn't it? Yep. Uh, same with this one, right? Level 6. Okay, this one's a little better uh, protected, which is nice. I just need to break through their first level of forts to move over. Mamluks are... Ooh. The Mamluks are the birthplace of the revolution. Whew. Okay. Uh, I imagine more than a single... Province can get the revolution, though. Oh, you need to have Enlightenment Embrace, don't you? That would make a lot of sense. Let me do that. That would make a lot of sense. You know, embrace the Enlightenment and you get the revolution. You know, maybe. Because uh, the Mamluks have embraced it. Yes. That is definitely what happened. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. And now we get industrialization events. So we've just, you know, 
started spiraling into the industrialization era, which is nice. Counting houses are being built. Why did I even build those? I don't remember. Counting houses. Oh, right, these ones. The, uh, the really good workshops that give you, like, two ducats. Yeah. Those ones. Those are pretty good. Alright, that's one fort down. Now we're trading in coal. Yeah, our, our money's gonna start skyrocketing. Well, that's a little bit loud, but... I'll just keep it on. That's fine. Are you guys really fast, or am I just really slow? I'm not sure. Three maneuver, two maneuver, so I'm slow, it appears. And they're gonna go for the weakest forts, of course. Makes sense. Uh, that's a lot of manpower I cannot afford to lose, unfortunately. But I'm pretty sure... Oh. Someone must be cooking in my house, it appears. The fire alarm's going off. So anyways, beyond that here... Um... I would get minus 20% manpower recovery speed for a, a while on that one. 20% is pretty impactful. But at the same time, I think if I get a bit of professionalism and then I'm, you know, slacking, I think I get, like, exactly proportionate amount of manpower. So if I do this, then I just gain a bit of manpower. Like, it, I, it's an exact ratio. So I basically did like a half slack in recruitment there, which is, it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. How long does that actually last? That's a good question to ask ourselves. Not that I can very easily see it, but... Ten years, oof, okay, that's gonna have a big impact on this war, that's for sure. I've already set all of my edicts to increase enlistment, except for this one. Yeah, but that's fine. If I fought the stack, it would likely kill me. Actually, that depends. Also, um, I, I feel nothing but suffering and pain on the siege. Nothing but the worst suffering and pain. They won a siege with 31 days. 31 days. And here I am. Still on this for 99%. If I didn't get that, I think I would actually alt F4. Unironically, I think I would have. Alright, let's get rid of the commonwealth. Force march if I have to, because these guys are annoying. Remember to keep coring things. Very important that we keep coring. And the commonwealth should melt like butter. Uh, I cannot core these because that... Oh, oh, they took this in literally less than a month. Okay, that's what I thought. Very cool. Big fan of that one. Very nice. Um, okay, great. This was going to be a bit of a mess. Let's just be honest with each other. This one's going to be a bit of a mess. Oh my god. Okay, so they have easily... Triple? I want to say triple. Triple my, my current deployed manpower. Easily. Like, this isn't even, like, a debate. Easily triple my... Not manpower, sorry. Um, deployed number of, like, actual regiments. Three times my army size. That is actually incredible. That is impressive. Also, I want to keep this guy here. Uh, I don't care what Austria thinks of me. What is Glogal? Uh, okay, I guess F doesn't work, does it? Because it goes separate as... Uh, oh, come on. I don't want to deal with that today. Okay. Hit this button. We'll go. Over here. What do you want? Produce iron? Cool. Do that. That's fine. Uh, 
Also, I realize loud music isn't fun, but at the same time, I need something to hype me up. Alright, so let's hear it. Okay, time to go stomp on these troops here. Lost Letgalen, which was somewhere, I'm sure. Okay, maybe not that loud. Over here. No, that's where that was. I'll go for their capital, because that's the war goal. We are industrializing very well. We're starting to get through the forts on the other side. I want to see if I can actually stack wipe these guys. Portugal's in our coalition. I forgot about Portugal, actually. And they are a, a great power. Actually, I'm not even going to lie. I forgot Portugal was, you know, a, a thing that existed a little bit. So. They just weren't very involved in European politics recently. They've been more, I don't know, doing something. They've been, I don't know, colonizing Papua or something. A lot of colonizing, actually. And, you know, half of the Americas, there's that too. Uh, but anyways, these are kind of like landmines for them to go through anyway, isn't it? In a way, oh my god, we took Paris. Mad lads, can I peace France out? I'll peace anyone out. No, but if we get far enough, maybe. Also, Commonwealth either A, disappeared, or B, died, and I like to think that they died here. Because that does... Make my life a lot better. Okay, I just need to take all their forts. And I'm going to go and get rid of you. This is by far going to be the most intense part of this series, by the way, guys. So I hope you enjoy it. Because, oh, wow. Oof. Ooh, this is intense. This is intense stuff. On the bright side, we are able to use, like, rebel landmines over here. Oh, you know, maybe that's the reason you can't provoke a revolt during war. That, that sort of occurred to me. Just sort of now, I'm like, wait, why can't you? Oh, you know, well, maybe. Anyway, they're taking Paris back. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. I also do want to annex you, so I raised your opinion. Um, <laughs> that sends you down there. Bosnian Separatists. See, those don't work as very effective landmines. Because they're not in the right place. Alright, that was cool, but... Alright, it looks like they've cleaned up my rebels. Very kind of Spain to do that for me. If I see one more 71% or 70 or higher percent siege fail, I'm going to lose my mind. Thank you. Oh my god. The lower percent chance procced, but you didn't. I hate you. That's two really bad sieges I've gotten. 92%, 99%. Absolute cancer. I've taken Moscow. You see, Moscow was actually a good fort. It was level 6. It's not level 8, but it was good. At least. It was, like, not bad. Also, uh, yeah, none of these cores are being done. Because guess he's occupying them. It's your boy Spain occupying my cores and keeping me at above 100. You know, it's kind of my own fault, but also I blame Spain because... Hate those guys, you know? Stop invading my country type of deal. Uh, but anyways, I imagine the Commonwealth is going to deal with my unrest over there too, which is nice. So, I can't actually white peace with them yet, which is weird, because I've taken most of their, well, all their sieges pretty much. But anyways, minor inconvenience, of course, remarkable, you know, we're doing pretty well on every other front. I don't actually want to attack that either, so... Good move on that one. Yeah, because I'm going to get a minus one. I don't want to fight a minus one. I will siege this, though. That's all I want to do. I don't want to fight you. I just want to siege it. I'm going to crush this Spanish army right there. 
Fortresses are done. Oh, I've never seen something more satisfying. So I think I have level 8 forts scattered all over Germany now. So we can hold them back for a while. While the Commonwealth has these flimsy like level 2 forts and stuff. That break when you breathe on them. Okay. Looking good so far. I don't want to attack that massive stack over there. I wouldn't really care about attacking that one. Or at least, you know, scaring it off. Uh, can I do this? Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. More sieges, of course. Uh, when I eventually run out of manpower, I'm going to have to sue for peace. Because I'm not going to destroy my country for this. What I will do is, you know, I might... Uh, I might take a very little from this peace deal. You know, just not take a whole bunch from it. I don't think I can exhaust Spain enough. Well, I can declare on someone else. Oh, but you've joined a coalition. Right, yeah, okay. I can't declare on anyone uh, because of the coalition. Right, the coalition might even declare on me, so... Um, all signs sort of lead to the idea that, you know, maybe I should... Oh, that's a bad idea, I know it is. Uh, but maybe I should... Um, Get out of this war as soon as possible. There's no way you're going to make it there. Yes, that's what I thought. I said it, so it must be true. Alright, yeah, these cores are going to have to wait a long time. Attack me, I dare you. Yes, beautiful. Beautiful stack wipe. Get rid of these guys. I am, you know, kind of surprised at the Commonwealth's tenacity here. But it won't last very long. I'm doing more than making gains, Commonwealth. I can assure you that one. As long as we're not moving, we should be able to... Resupply morale and then move into there. I can actually core something, surprisingly. There we go. Um, but how about that... I saw a rebel right here. Muscovy, right. Yeah, we're going to have to liberate these while we're over here. Uh, that's fine as it is. How are these guys faster than me? I have, like, a smaller army size and maneuver. Do you just have, like, direct army speed? Like, what is that? Like, I feel like they actually do. Like, unironically have, mi like, movement speed. Uh, do you? Do you have movement speed? I don't think so. It's a really rare, uh, trait to have. So maybe not. It could be a part of their mission tree, though, and I have just no idea. It's possible. Ugh, ten army tradition just like that, huh? Okay, uh, I think that was a stack wipe. Which is pretty chill. Okay, I need to get out of this war. I don't know what I'm still doing here. I, I just need to, I need to peace out. Like, I really need to peace out of this one. Oh, wait, how did you... Okay, you know what? I'll give you, I'll give you points for creativity on that one. I know we have this guy, and he's going to move into here to liberate Moscow. And actually, no, you're going to take Smolensk first. I don't think I can get anyone out of this. No, probably not. Uh, but if it's anyone, it's going to be the Pope Man first. And then maybe France. Yeah, that's what I think. All right, let's move into there. Go into here. Actually, you're gonna chase up into here. I'll lose 10 prestige, that's fine. 
Ooh, it's a little bit stressful, huh? A little bit stressful, eh? All right, let's uh, let's figure something out here. We're moving these guys down to Roma so I can get them out of here. Spain is foolishly landing over here when they cannot siege that fort. Uh, thankfully, they have lost a decent number of men in sieges, which is good. I mean, I have too, so it's not like I can really pat anyone on the back there. We're both just bad at the game. <laughs> AI bad at the game, yeah. Exactly. Okay, um, let's move you guys into here. I still have more forts to siege. So I shouldn't be waiting around as if I don't have anything to siege. If I can get the Commonwealth down to low, that pretty much does just make my day. And of course I have to deal with these guys. Uh, let me drop that. What is my unrest? It's probably, yeah, it's massive because I can't core anything. That's why it's massive. I mean, I've been coring these at least, right? I think so. Yeah, I've been able to core these things over here, but I mean, like, come on, man. All the ones in France are just not going to get cored, so... In fact, uh, this feels highly targeted. Except for this one, which is being cored, but all the ones that would otherwise have coring progress have just been taken. And I don't like it. Alright, more cores. And just as I say that, of course, cores actually open up. Cool. Anyways. Let's move into here. Get rid of these guys. I do have to take that. They are actually... Uh, I think they just solved my rebel problem with Muscovy. Yep. Well, thank you. Uh, I just locked myself in, and I'm going to give myself the biggest Clown of the Year award right now. Um, for, you know, pulling one of the worst moves in all of EU4 history. And then directly after, I'm going to revoke it, because that turned out to not be a bad move. Alright, well, that was basically pure luck. Also, <laughs> Rebel Mines. Nice. I'm feeling like I should barrage Aroma if I'm going to get anything productive done there. Surprisingly, they haven't made much progress into my country, but I can only be thankful for that. Uh, these guys need to repair. We're just going to go ahead and remove some of these guys. Siege of Polak is done. You love to see it. Smolensk done. You love to see that too. Commonwealth is at low, or not low, uh, or medium. Close to low, though. Which is what you like to see. We're going to do this. Um, how are we doing here? Close armies in Podol are under attack. Okay, but we're able to destroy them, which is cool. I do not have any infantry left. I have to bring these guys back. Absolutely have to bring them back. Please do not interfere with my plan. I need to bring these guys back so that they can repair. I also need to take next tech for reasons, I guess. And what's next? We get the Commonwealth to low, and we basically do whatever we like with them. That's the gist I'm getting here. Actually, no, you guys need to repair. That was my whole speech. Um, if I can get Papal State out, that would be great. 71%, I beg you, please grab that one. Thank you so much. They're at low with 31. If I get the Papal State out, then that's literally useless to me. I'd rather use them as a bargaining chip. Uh, wait. Spanish military strength revolts in Spain. Oh, are you actually having trouble, Spain? Is that what's going on here? Is that what's happening? Is Spain low-key in actual trouble? Oh, they're at medium. Spain is at medium. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. That changes things slightly. 
because they have revolts apparently. Uh, I couldn't tell you where, but apparently they do. I would assume somewhere like... Nope, not Africa. Like a random island in the middle of no- Yeah, there they are. The Philippines. They have separatists. So Spain's feeling that a little more than they should because, well, I mean, there's it's no reason why the Philippines should matter to them right now, but uh, for the reasons that they do, they might peace out. And if I could just carry that home a little bit harder. Because I have made Spain's life very difficult here, which I'm proud of. But, um... Did I just siege something? Podol? Yes, they just sieged that. That's what happened. Okay, well, I'm gonna go siege it back, I think. Uh, did the timer go off yet? I, I did set a timer, right? <laughs> of course I didn't. Why would I ever possibly set a timer? How are we doing for today? 26 minutes in. This is relatively when I would like to put a cut in. Okay. But if I can get Spain out... My gratitude would be immeasurable. Oh, well, now the Commonwealth is having rebels too. And that makes my life a little bit worse. Uh, we lost Den Haag, but that's fine. Spain is slowly losing the will to fight, which is what I love to see. We're going to keep this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Wait, did Spain just literally... Oh my god, I think Spain just lost something. Yep. Because I'd never seen that tag. I'm like, oh, hold on. Yeah, Spain just lost some land. Which probably raised their war enthusiasm, actually. Uh, in a sort of ironic sense. I hate that I'm doing this, because I know the AI is going to take it before I get there. Huh. Okay, maybe not yet. I'm going to take down that little stack, unless, unless Spain's just keen on throwing more men on it. Because Spain just loves sieging so much. Oh, we do welcome them for the gift. Uh, right, so Papal State would peace it out. Is the papers, Papal State worth more alive or dead? I'm not sure. Moscow's done. That's very useful. Um, they actually didn't solve the Muscovy independence thing. Which I thought they did. But I guess not. And I've lost the siege, but I've just destroyed an army, so... Bit of a... Bit of a return on that one. Woods. Mountains. I do like the mountains a little better. I'm willing to give it a shot. Actually, they're going to attack me on these mountains. That was probably the worst thing I think I've ever seen the AI do. That is truly impressive. That is a staggering amount of dumb. Very nice. Okay, Spain is at 7. Oh man, can I get Spain out? Can I get Spain out of this war? Maybe? Am I willing to risk a 7%? 1-7%? I am. I am willing to risk that, because it's a level 1 fort, so I can take it back. Negative 4. Can I pay you off? I can give them... Wait, you want to take land? No, I'll like, give you war ups or something. I'm not going to give you land. You can, you can calm down there for a second, Spain. I'm not going to give you that much. You do not have the 10% war score, my good sir. So you can just calm yourself. What if I just, like, occupied some of your land, though? What would you do at that point? I'm curious. Uh, also, this is, like, a, a very bad move. Like, a very, very bad move. I'm not gonna get there in time, but I can at least clean up afterwards. 
while they're still at half morale. There we go. This one's hard fought. Super hard fought. I kind of want to finish this. Just a little bit. I'm going to start getting rid of some of Spain's uh, land here. Because it's kind of necessary. Unless I can... No, bad idea. Impossible. We gotta do things the hard way, apparently. This episode's gonna end up being a little longer. In fact, it probably already is. I, I uh, respect that. So I'm gonna try and end it soon, but... Again, you see the problems that were in here. Just a few issues. Just a couple. They don't even have enough men to siege this. Rip Spain. Bop. Oh, that was that was destruction. Pure carnage. Spain is at low. We did it. Spain's out of the war. Oh, it's done. It's done. Ooh, baby, it's done. Wow. It is complete. And we are free to do what we like. Okay, so this episode was definitely long enough. We got Spain out, which is a lot of progress, actually. We're probably going to take a little bit of time next episode to carve out an entire, uh, you know, you can see what I'm doing here, an entire Polish Republic out of this. Which is going to be cool. But for now, this is Corbett signing off, and as always, have a fantastic day. I'd like to give a shout out to all of the patrons for the month of August, starting with those in the Admiral tier, T-Lord4, Ben Greenhagen, Car Newley, Tiger Pop, and Davin Collins, those in the General tier, Justinian, Brennan Arcano, Torvalt, and Farron, those in the Prince tier, Natsuki, Rockbox2020, and TFLJ Martis, in the King tier, we have Chewy Shoot as always, and the Mad Lads in the Conqueror of Worlds tier, we have the Mysterious, Corbite, and the Watcher. Thank you guys so much for your pledges, it means a ton to me, and I cannot possibly thank you enough.